start again now. Jaguar cars actually started out as the Swallow Sidecar Company, hence SS in Blackpool, and they made sidecars. But their first foray into cars was basically upgrading Austin 7s, and here's a, a very rare example of an upgrade, a Kent registration from the 1920s, with Swallow, later Jaguar, expertise built in. Very, very nice. And here we have a 1933 Jaguar Coupe. At this stage, the word Jaguar really didn't exist. It wasn't coined until 1935 as a model name. So this basically is a SS Coupe and absolutely gorgeous, showing beautiful classic lines, an authentic vehicle, award winning and no wonder. Now we have a 1937 SS Jaguar, one and a half litre, registered in Burnley, although currently having a DVLC replacement Old London registration. Beautifully restored. Spent much of its life in Milan um, in the showroom of a Jaguar dealer there but has been and then was sold to an owner in Holland and then brought back to the UK and put back to you to uh, UK standard hence the fact but it but it was a originally UK car so it always has been right hand drive very very nice a very rare car not many of them around Next, we have another SS Jaguar, slightly later one. Coupe, a uh, gorgeous cream colour. Again, a replacement registration, we don't know what it originally was. Beautiful lines, just look at that. Beautiful streamlining. No wonder people's love affair with Jaguar started before the war. Next, we have a uh, replica, really, Suffolk manufacture replica pre war SS Jaguars. This has got a, a uh, replacement uh, regis Scottish registration. Uh, British Racing Green. Built in 2010. Hand built replica of the iconic 1937 SS100, based on an XJ6 chassis, but very far removed from an XJ6. <laughs> Next, we have a Jaguar 1.5 litre saloon, Mark 4, 1946. Although Mark 4 was a mark which is, I think, unofficial um, as such. Very nice car. Nice cream colour, four doors, a successful businessman's car from the era, or professional. We now have a Jaguar Mark 5, three and a half litre from 1949, two, to two tone more than black, London, authentic London registration from the era, four door. Clearly, a successful stockbroking year for its owner. Beautiful car. And the early post war sports cars, the XKs. This is a, an early XK120 from 1950. It lived some of its life in Australia. The nice registration of 120 Jag. Jet black. Picture oneself driving down the country lanes in this to join one squadron to, 
to fly ones, I think from the era, probably one, uh, one's uh, Vampire or Venom fighter. Very nice. Another XK, this one in a beige colour. Again, a replacement registration, AS was Asher, not fully issued. Next day, on 20th and 1953, it was in Los Angeles, California, and was participated in uh, international rallies. It's been as far as Russia. That's further than I've been. Nice vehicle, metallic silver. We then have a saloon, big old saloon. FO I think is a replacement. Ladies and gentlemen, we're within about two or three minutes of the Spitfire fly pass. 225 and it's flight lieutenant Tony Parkinson. So eyes skyward at 225 and so generally these guys yeah, are Mark 9. on the button. So maybe peel, eyes peel, Mark 7, skyward. Mark 9. And uh, let's have a super Let's go for Mark 9, nine shall we? This is a, I'm not sure if this is a replica or real, it looks like a C-type to me, a racing Jaguar. Not a D-type, hasn't got the characteristic fin on the fan. Very nice. I don't, British Racing Green, I don't care if it's a replica or real, it's a beautiful vehicle. We then have an XK in white, authentic London registration. This dates from 1955, it's the later XK 140. <laughs> Using a number of Ealing comedies by the late actor Terry Thomas, we're told. So it features in a number of 1950s films. How interesting. Now we have a di we do have a D-type, you can tell by the fin on the tail. It's got appears to be an authentic registration. No doubt spent much of its life on the track, although I think it's D types of street legal, so you can drive them around. Very, very nice. More a cockpit than a cabin. Mark II. 1959. Participated in the 1959 Monte Carlo Rally. British Racing Green. Won its class in several occasions, international rallies. Beautiful black wire wheels. Jaguar XK SS 1957. Basically, this is a D-type D with some modifications. Very nice, British racing green. Next, we have what appears to be a racing D-type. It's actually a 1958 Lister Jaguar, built to special order. He's on his way with a very distinctive history. GM 9689. Next, we have a 777 Jordan Mark 1. Jordan. 1958 Mark 8. 2 toe, grey and maroon. Beautiful car. Do you want to? In between the trees. 